Pops, how are you? What was you saying, Pops? They sell him a lot of spads. Yeah, I know. You should have given us some sort of warning, son. Well, I meant to say something last night. Yeah, I bet it was Arthur's idea. No! It would be nice if we could have some grub there. You need at least a sack. You pick him up on the way from school, can't you? And you've got to scrub them first. We can't bake potatoes without scrubbing them first, blimey. Here, you wouldn't have thought about scrubbing them first. What? Spuds. What spuds? Yeah, you're going to be late. Yeah, right. See you all later. Tell that to Yeah, would you have believed it? You wouldn't have thought about scrubbing them first. Do you realise I don't have any idea what you're going on about? Oh, we're donating a sack of spuds for the old bonfire party. Since when? Since just now. They've got to be on the ass. Oh, of course they will. Just look at good in the love lab, please. Why are they? You stick one in. Oh, right, it's just I'm a bit skinny, that's all. Oh, it's marvellous, that is, the way people think you made the money. Quid here, quid there. Oh, my right, Kath, it's just a lousy quid. Sorry, open my mouth. All right, say no more, sir. OK? Oh, no. But all oh, no, my All right, it ain't all over. You're the very person I wanted to see. How about these? Hey, what's all this? Well, I got them from Saeed. All good lids and watertight. I thought they'd be the very thing for your fireworks. You should have been on the committee, Ethel. I'll take them over to Arthur's. Yes, well, I didn't fancy walking around there with them. Feel like the tin man. Oh, you girls certainly know how to raise a few bob. Eh? How much did you get in the end? It's going to be a good show. People are very generous, you know, when it comes to getting a bit of a get-together organised. You never know who gave and how much. I mean, take him, for example. He gave me three pounds without batting an eyelid. Ethel, he said, for you, I'd give my last penny. Which proves what I've always said. There's some good in everybody somewhere. That's a nice thought, <laughs> So, we'd be seeing you in the square tonight. No, I'm not coming. It's my little Willie, you see. He'd be ever so frightened if he was shut up with all them bangs and things going on. I told Angie. Angie, I said, remember the animals, I said. They don't care about blowing up Parliament, do they? And when you're a dog, you know, a bang is just a bang. Anyway, I hope it goes off well for you, and I'm sure it will. Thank you. Bye, Ali. Goodbye, Paul. Give your hand, shall I? Yeah. Hey, you got a minute? Yeah. I'd like to hang on to it. Uh, she's been telling me you gave to the fund. Mm, I'm a generous old boy with uh, old ladies. Uh, thanks, anyway. You, you earn the money? You got a job? Job? You can't make an honest living in this country, mate. Yeah, some people do. Look, my accumulator came up now, if you don't mind. Hey, come on, man. Why don't you bury the hatch? Good idea. Where? I never liked you, okay? Yeah, I know that. You seem to be doing well. Money in your pocket? Uh... It's graft, mate. G-R-A-F-T. Ever heard of it? Let's try and clear the air. Why don't you save it for one of your delinquent spear chuckers, eh? You little... All right, you up! Out! Come on, hold it. Yeah, it's great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Two four-minute tracks, okay? Now use them today. Do you want to go through it with me once more? Oh, I'm a bit pushed today, darling. Billy's picking me up at the corner in ten minutes. I've got to run. Ask oh, someone else. Who? There must be someone. Could be a laugh. You need to build up that confidence before you go on. Who can I ask? Look, love, you just remember what I told you, all right? You're a good little mover, so just go with the music. Oh, and keep it in your hair that you are going to bed. <laughs> All right, now just show it, share it, and enjoy. Okay. You have a little practice and let me know how it goes later. Oh, hold on a minute. This is for Annie, darling. And this is for you. Now wear them, they look great with the act, okay? And take them off last, they look wonderful. Mm. Gotta go, love. All right, see ya. Take care. Oh, and go for it. I'll try. Woo! See ya. Bye. Oh, hello, Doc. Oh, there you are. Just left you a note. Oh, yeah? Yes, there's a double wash and dry for rush. Collect at three o'clock. Reception afterwards? You what? Look, I don't know what's up with you, but just lately, whenever I see you, it's as though I give you indigestion. Who's avoiding who, I say? Oh, I don't know what's the matter with you. See, you're going it again. Anyway, I've got to get back, because my marshal will be screaming for his dinner. Oh, he didn't carry on like that at the christening. Nothing what I hear. Oh, so that's it, is it? Because you weren't asked along. 
Yes, say what's on your mind, Doc. Bad for the blood to harbour. Well, I was brought up to believe if you worked alongside of people, you shared the good times with the bad. God, parents and relatives, that's all we invited, right? Now, look, you get the yeah, I'll, I'll see, see you later. later. Uh, get yourself all in a state for nothing. It's me nature. But it's like she said it was just family. Tea and bums after. If we'd have asked you, we'd have had half the square feeling needle. Now, what are you doing this evening? Trying not to suffocate. It's me chest. It can't take the sulphur. Oh, well, me, I wouldn't step outside. Now, Ethel and me is sitting it out. Why don't you come and join us? I wouldn't dream of intruding. I'm inviting you, you silly cow. I got me coupons to do. Seven o'clock. And bring a bottle. Oh, my God. Whatever turns you on, eh? Which, in your case, is two poached eggs on a slice of toast. There you go, Arthur. Cheers, thanks. Here, Arthur. Yeah. Have a look at this. Daddy long legs. What a name for a male stripper. <laughs> the fatherly type. <laughs> yeah, certainly not his legs, though, is it? Look, if you don't mind, perhaps we could save all this until after the bar closes. You're quite right, Dennis. I should be concentrating on my hot dinners. Morning, Tone. It's Dennis. I noticed we're getting a bit low on vodka and gin this morning. Do you want to get some more? Yeah, I'll explain about that. All right for now, too. What, with her end night coming up? You've got to be joking. We ought to be bursting at the scenes with it. Them old birds, not back them shorts, like there's no tomorrow. I've got this method. It's called moonshine. What's that? I'll explain it to you later. I don't guess there's no way he was going to open up to me. A little toe rag. I don't know why you even try. I promise Dot. Even she is starting to get suspicious about where he's getting the cash. He gave Ethel three quid for the fireworks. Three quid? Nick Cotton? Where's he getting it? That's right. Sounds like a job for the bill. Yeah. But I don't want him taking it out on Dot. He'd know that she's been talking if the police start coming in on it. He wouldn't hurt him to have the heavy on his collar, though. I reckon the colour of my skin brings out the worst of him. How about you trying to colour off yours? The thought of that boat brings me out of spots. I think you ought to have a chat with him. All right for tonight then, Arthur? Oh, yeah, everything's under control. Final briefing at tea time. <laughs> yeah, it's still a dry night. Well, outdoors anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, all right. I'll have a go. Shop! Oh, hello, Pete. Yeah, Cap Cap left the wash yesterday, Doc. I need some police socks. Oh, right. Yeah, going to the party tonight. Oh, I can't. It's my chest. It must be the sulphur gets right on my lungs. I have to be ever so careful. I shall probably have to wear a face mask when I leave here tonight. I'm that sensitive to it. And it hangs on the air for days afterwards. I like Pete. Oh, he's such a... Oh, well, I got to run some. Here, Doc. The wash. I've got a business to run up. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Bill. 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 Yeah, you remember Pete Bill? Directly sent it to the Pete Bill who once came in here for his wash. Ah, got it. Now, now listen, you're going to thank me for this. Because I went through the pockets, as I always do, you know, to check the buttons and bits, because they break the machines, and I found this. What is it? I found it in a jeans. Pawn ticket. Pawn ticket? Yeah, for a pair of cufflinks. Yeah, you can rely on my discretion, Pete, because let's face it, the Ocking Shop's doing a roaring trade these days. What can I get you, love? Lofty. I'd like to have a word with him, please. Oh, sure. Come. Hey, Lofty. There's a young lady to see you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you want a drink? No. Listen, are you, are you free this afternoon? Yeah, after I'm finished here, yeah. Oh, good. Do you want to come round? I've got something to show you. Something I've been working on. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. OK, give you a cup of tea, all right? All right, I'll see you later. OK, I've got to go, cos Annie's outside. Right. See ya. See ya. All right. Yeah, why shouldn't it be? Well, I see all the young girls have got a soft spot for you, Lofty. Oh, me and Mary, we're like, you know, good friends. Lovely. <laughs> Have you noticed anything odd about her? No. She bought any money up, you sis. <laughs> she knows better than to ask that in this house. Well, look, my wife, she's been gambling, eh? And a lot of women sneak off to play bingo. It's another growing social problem. No, they only do that because they're bored of being stuck in the house all day. Our cat's far too busy and bright for anything like that. Yeah, but she's a sucker for one-armed bandits. What, our cafe? Never. Yeah, Ramsgate last year. That's because it rained all weekend, didn't it? No, it's probably something perfectly simple like, um, 
She's seen what she wants to get you for Christmas. It's on special offer. She wants it as a surprise, and she's paying for it now. Yeah. Yeah. Please ask. Yeah, of course. If she's buying me a present, why is she occupying my cufflinks? Eh? Well, go on, Wixie, tell us. Well, there's nothing to tell. I don't believe you. Why aren't you at school anyway? Because I bunked off. Anyway, they let you off games when you get your monthlies. <laughs> You know, we should have seen your group. Did you have to wear all nice clothes and everything? Well, tell us. Well, the gear was pretty straight. I, mean, I suppose that was a mistake, really. It's the look more than the sound that makes a band. You know, you should have had all glitter. When there's a shiny thread in the material, it shines in the light. <laughs> Him and Kelvin were going on about starting up a group. They haven't got a clue, though. I mean, they can't even decide whether to make it all steel or rock. What do you think? Oh, rock, of course. I could be the singer. Well, yeah, it should all have a go. They don't want to know about me, do they? Well, go on, two fellas. That could be good. Mm. Well, how did your group start up? Well, just in my front room. Drum box, electronic keyboard and a vocalist. That's all you need, see? Mm. Yeah. Then if you're doing gigs, you need a fuller sound, so you're knocking a sax or a lead guitar. But with two synthesizers and a singer, you don't need any instruments. You get your drum box going, right? <laughs> then the keyboards and then the singer. Dead simple, eh? That's right. Hey, babe, come and hear my song. Hey, babe, won't you come along? To a party in the street, a place where friends can meet, come along. Long, 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 do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey, babe, come and hear my song. Woo! Hey, babe, <laughs> won't you come along? We were just having a bit of a jam. Oh, a traffic jam? Sharon, your mum wants a glass of water and two of her pills. He was just showing me I could start up my own group. Clean two gigs in the bar if it took off. Has a little lady got what it takes? Yeah, she's not bad. How about it then, Dad? Oh, come off it, Sharon. I've got a licence to sell liquor, not to run the London Palladium. I'm going to ask Tina Turner in there. Oh, kids. What's she doing home so early, anyway? Oh, they let them off school. Women's problems. Uh, yeah, um... Business. <clears throat> Spirits. Now, I've got this method and I've been doing it for years. Now, don't worry, everyone does it. Tomorrow you're going to go down to the wholesale warehouse and buy the best but cheapest spirits you can find. Bring them back here and we're going to pour them into the bottles with the brand labels and sell them at brand prices. It's a little bit on the windy side, but it's fair. And the 2p extra on the glass makes a difference between breaking even and making a small profit. Now, if you're sitting comfortably, I will begin to give you all the details. Where's Annie? I was taking her for a walk. That's nice. Yeah. Room looks nice. Listen. You've got to remember this is the first time I've done it with someone watching. Done what? Exotic dancing. Sheena's been helping me. Now, sit back, hold tight, can you begin? <laughs> I, just, I can't stand them glasses. I can't see you. What's the matter with you? Nothing's the matter with me. You can't see me. I was showing you, wasn't I? I don't know what's going on. There's nothing going on. It's a practice. It's stripping. Look at you. Just look at you. You can't be a stripper. I don't want to watch you practice. What's the matter, Lofty? you never seen a naked girl before. Well, not a real one. I mean, not one I know. You're, you're my friend, then you? I can't let you start stripping. Now you're going to stop me. It ain't right. I need the money. And just because you don't like it's not going to make any difference. Well, there must be something else you can do. Like what? Sewing. Sewing seams. It's stitching or stripping, Lofty, and that's a fact. It's porn. It's not porn. Yeah, it's like dirty pictures, Mary. You're calling me dirty. No, no, that's not what I mean. Good, because there's nothing dirty about me. I never said there was. You make me sick, you do. You don't understand any of it, do you? I'm sorry. I think you better go. Oh, look, if we're friends, we should talk about it. You've said enough. Now get out! Here, yeah, look, you get cold. What's the matter with you, anyway? A real man would like it. Mary! Get out. All right. Oh, oh God, God, look what you've done! I'm you're sorry, it was an accident! Oh, you clumsy son! Health and safety at work at 1974. Satan! 
Parliament to protect the public. Yeah, when I was a kid, when it was bonfire night, we used to call it the first day of winter. We didn't have no fireworks, big fireworks like this. We just had a few sparklers. <laughs> My other God rest him. He would drop off at Billy Isaacs and bring me a salt herring. Oh, I used to love a salt herring. Then we'd call the natives in to come round and we'd all sit round the fire and have a good old sing song. Yes, any more rockets? No, oh, I don't think so. What I'd do for a nice salt herring now. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a table set out on the square for this lot. So. Oh, good lad. Good lad, come on. He's dead now. Oh. Billy Isaacs. Where's Ian? Oh. Wouldn't surprise me if he was still at school. Well, he's supposed to be here. Oh, here he is. Oh, 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 oh look at him. Oh, come on, lads, I'll give you a hand. Yeah. Use a scrubbing brush. Yeah. Oh, no, in there. I've got to have somewhere to cook my dinner. Down here. Yeah. I'll bring the water in there. Yeah. That's right. Are oh, you going to give a hand, Mum? I said I do. Yeah, watching you get out of that chair is like watching Russia get out of Afghanistan. Yeah, look, I've offered to babysit. Someone's got to keep half of them together, and I'll still be me as usual. Yeah. All right, love. Yes, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll help Put the paper down. Now mind that, all right. I've got a couple of trolleys to load it all onto. Oh, in the old days, it'd been a prayer. In the old days, in the old days. Oh, I believe her alone. She did her best at Halloween. Yeah. Oh, another pair of hands. Welcome, brother. Uh, is Michelle? Sure? No, she ain't. That's it. Uh, could, could I have a quiet word? Yeah. Well, you can try. <laughs> well. Well, it's yeah. sort of confidential, yeah. really. Oh, come in the kitchen then. Mum, will you take over from me? Right then, Lofty. What have you got to tell me? Is it about Michelle? No, no, it's it's about Mary. Mary? Yeah, well, look, I, I happen to know that... Well, it's, it's not a secret, really. I mean, well, she told me... What's the matter with her? She's not pregnant again, is she? No, no, nothing like that. Well, what then? I don't know how to put it. Oh, come on, Lofty, spit it out. Well, she got a job, right? Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, she got a job as a stripper. Oh, I see. Well, what do you reckon? She's not my daughter. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm her friend. I feel like I'm letting her down. But how are you letting her down? Well, I don't think she should. I, I just thought you might be able to suggest something. Oh, Lofty. I've got more than enough on my plate at the moment. But you're her friend. Yeah, but you being a woman and that. What's that got to do with it? I don't know, really. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Did I leave my plan in here? No, you didn't. All right, love. Tell us all about it. Don't let it get to you, love. A girl's got to use whatever she's got. Now, you've got the knack. Some people don't, but you have, so use it. Oh, look at that, it's shrunk. Lots of guys get touchy about things like that. That's why they'd rather pay for it, do you know what I mean? Now, you've given away too much for free already. That's your trouble. I'm not sure I can handle it, though, Sheena. Look, love, you're going to have to be tough. You ain't got a man, so you're going to have to fight. Be a man and a woman for any sake. And don't rely on guys to do you any favours, because there's always a price to pay if you do. Oh, look at that. That is wear and tear for you, that is. I should claim for it. I'm really sorry about them glasses. Oh, look, it doesn't matter. I can get another pair, no problem. Come on, I'll go pick up any with you. Okay, see you, Doc. See ya. Hi, gorgeous. Right couple of slags, eh? Mind your turn. Hmm. Gonna win fame and fortune, are we? Here, what are you doing tonight? What's it to you? Just doing you moping around a flat on your own, that's all. Lou's asked me over. So? Well, I'm not going. I mean, I'm not accepting her charity. They didn't ask me to the christening. Godparents and relatives only, they said. Well, I know different. I mean, I got me pride. Yeah. There's only one thing people have respect for, eh? Where'd you get that? Never you mind. You go along, take a couple of bottles with you. Hit them where it hurts. I'm not having people treat my old lady with that respect. I'm teetotal, and even if I wasn't, I wouldn't. Do you forgot me old, sir? Take someone else for yourself, then. Can't have them foulers uh, thinking they run the old place around here, can we? Oh, I couldn't go in a spirit of spite. Of course not. Just want to look after you, don't I? Well... Good girl. Yeah, I can run a corner. 
Oh, no, no, someone's nicked her axe. So whatever was in it, eh? Still, if they wanted it that bad, they deserve to have it. Yeah, we've been the guy. Bunch of Anna's together. Me. Oh. That's nice. Oh, you didn't mind me coming in, did you? I mean, it's poison out there. I'm glad you changed your mind. Well, I thought there's poor old Ethel and Lou all on their own. I ought to make the effort. Oh, I'm sure we appreciate that, don't we? Ed? Oh, we do, Lou. Well, I'd offer you a stout, but I know you don't. Well, I brought my own. And these. Oh, that's nice. And these are for you. Oh, I say. Well, they're from Nick, really, bless him. I mean, he wanted me to spend the money on myself, yeah, but when I told him... you sit yourself that... down, oh. Doc. Oh. oh, well. Now, look here. Here. Oh. You can have my seat. Oh, ta. Okay. Oh, oh, she can sit with a dog on her lap. <laughs> oh, ta. Here you are, it. Oh, Tar, dear. Yeah, that's... Oh. Right. Cheers. He was ever so upset, Mary. He had no business to tell you. Yeah, well, if I was your man, which I'm not, I'd be upset and all. It's just a job. It's just been like an air hostess or something, and it's far easier to get into. Oh. Yeah, but the people at work and the people who go to watch, well, some of them push drugs. Sheena knows all the right sorts. She's got me onto an agency. It's all above board. And you've got to be tough. I am. I just wish I could help you find something better. Pauline, I know you mean well, but it's really none of your business. If you tell somebody, I'll have to leave the square. It's all right for you. You've got security. You've got a house. You've got a husband. I have to be mum and dad to Annie. Look, I won't live the rest of my life on social security handouts and people doing me favours. You can bring Annie over to our house later on if you want to go out. You promise it's a secret? You promise? Mum's the word. Thanks, Pauline. I just don't want to see you get into something you can't get yourself out of. Happens all the time, that, doesn't it? character, Lou. I don't know what to make of it. Oh, it won't last. Kids are nothing but trouble. Except when they're not. <laughs> Still, it's nice to have the house to myself. Even though I'm sharing it with uh, one dog, two babies, a chain-smoking hypochondriac and Ethel. <laughs> oh, you are awful, Lou. <laughs> yes, go. Hello, dear. Well, you're looking particularly lovely tonight, darling, if I do say so myself. Oh. And out on your own, in a way. Yeah, where's Andy? Oh, he's um, doing a late shift. I'm missing all the fun. What's that, then? Uh, Miss Bluebell there will explain. She's the brains behind it. Male stripper, Debs. And it's not what you think. It's very artistic. Apparently, they practice for years. <laughs> and it's ladies only. Well, it sounds like I'll have to be the good girl. Can't <laughs> let the blokes have all the fun, oh, can no. we? <laughs> Yours is on the house because I understand you've got a sterling job out there. Yeah, lucky with the wind, weren't we? Yeah, I'll have a pint. Yeah, okay, I'm Are you all right now? You did all right, Arthur. Yeah, not too bad, was it? What are you looking so worried about? What, Lofty? Mary. Why'd you have to go and tell her for anyway? I thought it was for the best. I bet. I mean, you just cut it out, all right, because I don't want your best. You swear it's a secret between us. Swear. Good. I'll see you around, lovely. Oh, Mary. Oh, come on, Arthur. Well, then, didn't you have a toast to your old man? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Cheers, dear. Cheers to Arthur. Yeah, now here's to the committee. Oh, yeah. 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 
Okay. Come and sit down here. Look, we've been avoiding me all evening. I want to talk to you. What's the matter with you? Look, I'm worried about you. You seem to have something on your mind. I've got hundreds of things. That's why I fancy a quiet night out and relax a bit with me mates. Okay. What are you getting at? Money, for instance. Oh, I'm always going on about that. Quid here, quid there. Look, Kev, in all the years I've lived and grafted with you, I've never known you again. Never overspend, never under budget. I trust you with my money as I do my life. Hey, money. That's what I do. Now, are you wanting something? If I was, I'd tell you. And what about this? Where'd you find that? Doc found it in the wash. All right, I'm not angry, and I don't care about it being my stupid cufflinks or anything. But why are you putting things in Oak? Well, there was the christening, then Halloween, tonight. I mean, you've lent Michelle money, so you're a bit short. Just spend, 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 isn't it? Yes. Then why keep it a secret? I don't want secrets from you, Kat. I never have. I don't want to start now. Well, now you've found that it's not a secret anymore, is it? That's not an answer. Pete, do you trust me? I just said I do. Well, then stop bloody cross-questioning me. Kat, I want an answer. All right for the end night, Kat. Maybe because you don't. Kat! Is it something I said, Pete? I'll come and have a drink, eh? Look, Ange, you're a friend of mine. Yeah? It's a couple of quid to the end of the week. Oh, money, eh? I should have guessed. Oh, Alright, yeah. I've seen the pub lately. Hey, what? 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 What